Um, so I, I passed it and just make sure that, that as well. I'll make sure that it shows up. Yep. At GCPA Week of Joy playing Baldur's Gate 3 on Stadia. Let me know if that title works. And otherwise, we can just keep as is. Um, just obviously, since it's public, um, don't say anything incriminating or <laughs> confidential. Cool. I see it in your page. Cool. Uh, do you want to test audio on it real quick? Sure. Um, uh, I'll uh, test on my end. Okay, cool. I'll just continue talking about it's my weekend, which included playing Cyberpunk 2077 and all these other fun games all on Stadia. Um, it was really fun. It works for you. Um, I'm just going to say some stuff to see if it works for me. Test, 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 test. Yep, both work fine. That was like record time. <laughs> Compared to the hour. One minute. Yeah. Fantastic. Man, I don't know what we were doing wrong, but if it's that easy, it yeah. must have been us. I think it was just the mix of the party chat and you know platform level and then game chat and whatnot, all that sort of stuff. So, oh well, good to know. Mm. Okay, well, we're all set up, so. <laughs> yeah, Let me see I if guess, I can like, edit my loadout or something. I guess the only other thing would be not to idle for too long on my end, because otherwise I'll get booted. Exactly. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to move every now and again. Yeah. Very loot with these guys. Oh, yeah, how's Cyberpunk going? It's good. Um, it's still super exciting. It's fun to see all the best weapons and best cars. I, I feel like I'm. <laughs> I was on a call this morning. We were talking about everyone's different progress in the game, and um, I feel like I'm at the stage where I put in like the ten hours. I've seen like different side quests and, and main quests and whatnot, and now I'm like, mm -hmm. all right, let's see how much I can break this fool. Like, how, <laughs> what? What's the Easy fast car that I can get at the beginning of the game. Um, some of the exploits have already been fixed, but it's 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 cool to see different like creator content within the first few weeks as it goes to like how to do basic things and then how to break the game within ten hours or whatnot. Um, get the gun that oh, does yeah. ten thousand damage or whatever it is. Um, yeah. What's been your favorite exploit? Uh, right now, I am on Act Two and. Um, hopefully by end of night tonight, I'll have the fastest car in the game and then on my way to getting the strongest sniper rifle. So, um, they already took out the infinite, you can disassemble multiple grenades at a time and, um, just get cr cr like disassembling XP for crafting. Um, and then it wouldn't change how many grenades you have or just let you do that unlimited. Mm. Fortunately, that they patched that out. Um... They punched that out over the weekend, so no, no more of that. But um, TBD. How about you? How's your How's your game going? Um, it's great. I mean, I so, so I always run into an issue with open world games where I just I get so antsy to see how it ends that I mainline the story, and then I mm. don't do I do like eighty percent of the side quests, but I always regret not doing all of them or mm. spending the time to like read all the text bubbles and whatnot. So um, I, I did the, what, just to make sure I don't spoil anything, you did the interlude, right? Yep, did the interlude and now I'm at the, like going out into the wastelands essentially. Um, I met with someone in Rogue in the Afterlife, I think is the mission. Uh, as who? As V. Okay, yeah, so you already have Johnny. Okay, yeah, so I, I basically have not progressed the story at all. I'm at like 22 hours or something. And um, I did like two missions after the interlude and I've just like destroyed side missions. So now I'm like, I, I spent an hour also just figuring out how to um, customize. Because did you ever play Witcher 3? 
I did a little bit, but not not a ton to be honest. Played a lot of Witcher too. So, so I played probably. Oh, you did. Okay, so you're familiar with the customization system. I, I did like ten or fifteen hours in Witcher three. Um, and essentially, if you figure out the customization, it makes everything way easier. So I I figured that out in Cyberpunk, and I'm just one shotting people. I'm doing like entire missions where I just go Rambo and walk straight into the middle of it and wipe out an entire arena. Um, yeah. But I, I'm doing a bunch of like side missions and. I will say, I think Paul Tassie tweeted about this. It is the the like story missions are so engrossing and so in depth and so enthralling, but there are so many stupid little visual and technical bugs that it is the weirdest juxtaposition of like brilliant storytelling and game composition and like horrendous QA slash actual actual execution. So he which I think is fair, he came to the conclusion that there's no way he can give a number score because what do you, what do you grade for, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, um, I totally think I'm that really way. enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it too. It is it is such a funny juxtaposition of things that they really thought about that make a difference, and it's true. Like, oh, yeah. like the fact that you can just leave conversations um, when you want to. You can just walk away. I think that's fantastic. You don't have to like press B a million times or or, or whatever it is or go for a certain dialogue option. Um, and yeah. so when like I've tested this before, you might complete a mission and then like talk to some random NPC. And then you'll talk to the character like whether it's a minute later or a few minutes later and they'll remember you. They'll be like, hey dude, what's up? Thanks for helping me out earlier. That's awesome. That doesn't happen in a game like yeah. Zelda where like um, or Breath of the Wild where mm -hmm. it'll be like You'll help someone out, like save their their life, and then they'll go, "Hey, dude, what's up?" Uh, like they, they they won't recognize you. So I think that's really cool. Mm -hmm. There are really small things that, like, yeah, it's like quality of life. Um, last night it was, I was trying to swap my pistol to a different pistol, and I wanted to take the upgrades off that I attached to it so I could use it on the new pistol. But you can't do that unless you equip the pistol. You can't just like, yeah. also like removing yeah. content that you already have is just so tedious. Um, yep. You and sometimes take out I, every single one, and some guns have like six compartments. I wish I could just select a bunch of them because I'm like, I have a, a trillion guns that I just want to delete and get the money for. But I, I yeah, it's 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 kind of tedious right now. So TBD. Um, I'm confident that they're going to address it. Obviously, they put out that statement this morning that people are, yeah, you know, kind of an uproar about that. You know, it should have been delayed until February or whatnot, but or or a tiered tiered launch. Who knows? But anyway. Oh yeah, I mean, there. Like you said, um, I don't know if you've met Pan Am yet, but basically, like, there's a main person you do side missions for this woman, Pan Am, and then like she has a crew of, like six or seven people. But those six or seven people like text you and like if you finish a mission and you talk to them, they're like, hey, man, thanks for doing that mission. Remember this one really specific thing you did in the mission and they'll like remember it, um, even if you leave and come back like a day game time later. Um, that stuff's fantastic. But then like sometimes I, I can't change the radio in the car or like I'll be in the middle of a fight and I won't be able to sprint. It'll just be like, well, you're done or I can't draw a weapon, or like, um, what was the game-breaking one? I, I couldn't change my camera angle when I was in a car, um, or a bike. So there's just all these silly little things that are wrong um, that just mar this otherwise great experience. It, it is a shame, but I'm trying to just like play for the story elements. Yeah, and the AI is really bad, too. Like, um, AI is terrible. Combat, it, very bad. Yeah, I've just... I've never no. seen an AI this bad in a major open world game. Like the I mean, cops don't even chase you; they just spawn out of chase you. I've murdered. And then they yes. <laughs> I I would just I just clipped a, um, a clip that I meant to post last night on on Twitter because I've just been like taking random Stadia captures and throwing up on Twitter. But um, yeah, there was one point where I just got one of these legendary items, mo the mono wire. It's like one of these uh, mm -hmm. cyberware add-ons that you can do, and um, I wanted to try it out. I went and just left the Ripper dock, killed like 
three civilians on the street, super quiet Sunday morning or whatever. Turn around, there's about 16 cops. Because <laughs> I got like a level three wanted level, but like normally in GTA, right. like, it would at least take maybe 15 seconds for cops to arrive on the scene. Um, but no, it was instant. Right. Um, out, it, out of it, thin air. Out of thin air. There definitely is an issue of like if you hijack someone's car um, and then. Mm try to reverse the car out and so that your camera pans behind you when you look forward to where the person was thrown out of they're just gone they're, they've disappeared yeah sometimes mid dialogue like the person is yelling about me taking their car and they're already gone so uh, yeah that stuff happens all the time i saw a a youtuber clip where you know you can call your car he called his car and he just looks up in the sky and it's coming hurtling down from like 10,000 feet above and just crash lands in front of him. And he's like, this isn't how I ordered my car. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oops. Well. Most, most reactive. Geez, okay, I'm almost dead. <laughs> I can reload. Let's see. No, I have I have potion of healing. You're fine. Just take it. Are you sure? I can do it. No, nah, I already took it. So All you right. you're down to four health as well. All right. Let me see if it'll work. If just just to test things out, if it'll keep you. Okay. Just in case for um. Let's say if we die, I'll die in some chance encounter. Are you seeing a loading screen right now? Yep, both on YouTube and uh, my personal screen. Cool. I, I am baffled that, I, I was talking to one of my friends about this. Um, they try to make futuristic GTA, like drive this from GTA without including any of the cop logic from GTA or without including any of the like AI learnings from GTA. They just tried to do mm -hmm. it all from scratch, it seems like. Like, why wouldn't you just take previous learnings? Um, it, it's just, it, it reeks of a developer saying, we know how to do it better um, mm. without actually thinking it through. Yeah, no, I think that's fair. Oh, I'm you now. Oh, yeah, I need to reset the um, maybe permissions. Yeah, that's what it is. All right, beautiful. Should be back. Nice. That was a strong statement they issued, though. I'm glad they did that. I'm glad they set expectations on, like, I, I saw that sentence within the statement. It was, you know, after these patches, um, you know, current gen consoles will still not be the same as, uh, you know, right. high, high tiered, high spec PC or next gen consoles. Um, which, I mean, I do not envy the sort of hate um, they must be getting from um, people that just don't know or expect um, everything to look the same across different platforms. They, the, the next gen jumps mm -hmm. are always difficult for people in platforms. Yeah. Let's see. My my friend, one of my best friends, we we had a like call uh, yesterday with a bunch of people, and mm. he was like, "Yeah, I just got Cyberpunk, but is it buggy for any of you guys?" He got it on PlayStation Four regular. <laughs> That's <laughs> the worst version of the game. We're like, yeah, Jason, looks like you're in a lot of trouble. That's so funny.
So are you going to create any, uh, since you're our color commentator, are you going to come up with any um, creator-friendly lingo? Like, be sure to like us on Patreon for special GCPA <laughs> tier, <laughs> tier benefits. Like, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Mention if we get 400 hand. subs, <laughs> yeah, we get 400 subs. We'll post a GCPA tips and tricks video on the channel. So be sure to join the uh, Coney Army. Smash that like button. I'll say a couple things like that, but <laughs> man, I just I tried like because I watched um, a lot of creator content for Cyberpunk. I mm. cannot say that stuff without being disingenuous. It's so hard for me. Seriously, it's uh, it's really a trend these days. Oh, did you see the um? the stuff for the upcoming event. I'm not going to say the event name or the content, but it's going to be very creator specific, which is awesome. The March one? Yep. For yeah. FIFA? Yeah, but don't don't say that because we're on a public stream. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um. Uh, but yeah, so it'll be really interesting because um, it's hyper, hyper focused on... Oh, I can loot this guy. Hyper focus on creator and all that. Oh wow, there was really good weapons in this guy over here. Did you not know this? There's gold, uh, a dagger. Okay. Silver locket. No, I didn't I didn't notice that. How did I change my loadout? Oh inventory. Press L to access my oh, I didn't inventory. see this guy. Abducted nobleman. I didn't see that either. <laughs> Inventory, eh? I have an elaborate key, a story item. Interesting. Uh -huh. Well, my longsword's still better than the rapier. How did uh, Jagno's stream go? I didn't see it. He had, he had one for uh, Cyberpunk? I think he said he was going to do one. Um, I'm pretty sure I saw that on Twitter. I think that he, I saw something this morning that said, I think his viewers said that they weren't as much interested in Cyberpunk being streamed for whatever reason. I don't understand that logic, but the viewers have spoken. I think he's going to do a stream of God of War instead, which... Okay, well, I mean, that, that makes but... sense, but God of, God of War also came out like four years ago, <laughs> I know, right? Exactly. That's my favorite game I've ever... Uh, top two favorite game I've ever played. The, the the newest God of War that just came out? Yeah, the newest one. It's just everything is so... It is like the exact opposite of Cyberpunk. Everything was so meticulously done. The story was very, very straightforward. And like, even... Did you play it? I didn't play the newest one. No, I mean, but I know... It's fantastic. It's fantastic. <laughs> but I, so I it's, really it's like an God open world but it's smaller oh you did okay you played the previous I didn't play 2 or 1 um, but God of War 3 I thought was really 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 good um, just the way it mm -hmm. in combat with the story and uh, I mean it was a super, right. super visceral game and I think that 4 is maybe a little bit less so a little bit more I mean it still has great combat and everything um but different systems, of course. A little bit less, like, straight-up gore, like 3 was, necessarily. Oh, no. I mean, there's some of that, but it, I, I didn't play 3. But, mm. but it's very much more like um, there was a heavy, heavy focus on the combat system. Mm. Um, and it's so incredibly intricate for having mm -hmm. not 
that many things you need to adjust. And it's just, it's visually stunning. Um, it's, it's just very interesting how they did it. But one of my favorite things in it is uh, these repeatable moments that are super rewarding. Like when you open a chest, it's not just hold X and then your character slowly opens the chest and takes the thing out. It's mm -hmm. like open chest and then uh, your son has to pierce a seal and basically that explodes the seal and then Kratos like flings it open and like flames or something will jump out and then you'll grab something. But like the camera will move and it'll be shaking because from your point of view, mm -hmm. and it'll like take the thing out. So it's just like there's so much time and effort put into an otherwise throwaway repeatable moment that you're going to do 300 times in the game. Um, that makes it way, way more rewarding than it is in Cyberpunk, where it's like very Borderlands of pick this up, pick that up, pick this up, pick that up. Um, exactly. and it's just like more tedious than fun. I really did like the, the narrative focus before in Gods of War 1, 2, and 3. It was like Kratos wants revenge and will kill all of the gods, which he does, and it's great and everything. But still, it's, it's very singularly driven, whereas obviously now he's a father and... There's a lot of cool overarching elements. And the other thing that you made me think of was yeah. in three, not to spoil it for you, but spoiler, um, you kill Zeus at the end and you yeah. you take out his, his eyes. His dad, right? Yeah. You take out his eyes and it's the most visceral thing in the <laughs> world because like a chest in God of War 4, um, in three, you using the C-axis controller, it says like, um, you know, press these two buttons and it's literally like using your both of your thumbs as Kratos mm -hmm. his thumbs to remove the eyes of Zeus <laughs> and it is very gory but also it's it's really incredible like gameplay design um the way yeah. they make you mirror basically the same action with your with your own hands they they do such a good job of that in the new one as well um it's less gory stuff but more um to your point, it's like, yeah, he's a dad now, but he's also still Kratos, so it's him kind of coming to terms with that. And mm. since he killed Zeus in the last one, his, like, beef with the Greek gods is kind of done because they're basically all dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or, like, fear him. Um, and so now it's in the Nordic mythology, and mm. within that there's all this stuff about, like, he's just trying to live a normal life, but people keep finding him, and he the whole central plot is will he repeat the cycle of like um, kids killing their dads, like how he mm -hmm. killed Zeus. Um, and it's really, really like interesting and engaging the way that they do it. Yeah, definitely. All right. We are about 60 seconds out. Yeah. I don't, I don't see anyone yet, but um, once folks do start joining, I'm going to, um, just jump in and ask you questions about like what is D and D, what is Baldur's Gate, and then I'll explain some stuff about Stadia and our like thesis statement mm -hmm. hypothesis, just to get the crowd warmed up. <laughs> Sounds good. You know what we need? We need that, um, the, I'm sure it's OBS, but whenever someone joins a stream or like subscribes, they have that watermarker logo pop up <laughs> where it's like plus one to the Justin army. We need exactly. something like that. <laughs> it's so distracting, but I mean, I guess that's the whole thing with, um, creators yeah, is just uh, making it as entertainment focused as possible. Totally. Do you ever play with a controller or are you all computer? Um, I do like playing some games with a controller. Halo with a controller is is big, um, just because it reminds me of the old days. Mm. But um, And other key games too. I mean, some games are just better played. Hades, for example, with a controller. You can mm. basically have to. But 
Um, also, keyboard is is great for um, kind of t- more turn based games with a lot of icons like this, or strategy, or shooters. Right. Do you remember when um, StarCraft came out on N sixty four? I never played it on console, but I've always been fascinated how they translated those controls to a console. It seems impossible. I never did. Um, I the only the first strategy game I played was Warcraft two on PC, unfortunately. But mm. I would have loved to have been able to play it on uh, on a controller. It was right up my alley. Well, it's hard, right? Because yeah. you um. I don't know if you've ever watched like <clears throat> Dota highlights, but it's all about microing, and like you can't micro with a controller, really. Oh, totally. Yeah, I mean, I, I used to be roommates with people who would play a lot of like, like League of Legends or other you know MOBA type games, and the amount of clicks that you hear are just literally destroying. Oh my god! Houses. Yeah, <laughs> click, 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 click. it looks so stressful, right? Yeah, and it's it's very noisy. <laughs> That's for sure. It looks like we have one viewer. Hello, GCPA. I think that might be me. Nope, it's Laura. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Laura? We're just going to wait a couple more minutes for folks to join. <clears throat> Hi, Nicole. How's it going? Hi, all. <laughs> Let me pen a message really quick. Oh, there's a there's a GVC. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. All right, we can get started with a little bit of overview. All right, I've been waiting my entire life to say this, but welcome YouTube fam. Be sure to smash that like button. You got Justin Randy and Alex Morcone here from the YouTube team. Be sure to like, subscribe, unsubscribe, resubscribe, and then resubscribe a third time. Uh, today we will be playing Baldur's Gate 3 on Stadia. And for those of you who don't know what Stadia is, it is our gaming platform from Google for AAA titles. Um, at GDC last year, we said that we were going to unite the world to game watchers and game players. Uh, if you didn't know, there's actually a very interesting stat that says 50 billion hours of YouTube content, um, particular to video games, is streamed a year, which is nuts. 200 million people turn into it, tune into it each year, including my nephews, and I'm sure many of you as well. So it is a huge, huge um, subsection of just viewing content across YouTube. And gaming has become the fastest growing field in entertainment. Um, really, really interesting stuff we've got here today. And Justin, why don't you tell them a little bit about what the heck Baldur's Gate 3 is and what platforms it's on? Sure. Baldur's Gate 3 is an early access game that just launched on Stadia um, and PC just a few months ago. Um, it is a role-playing game, so essentially we are in a world very similar to Lord of the Rings or, or Game of Thrones. Um, we're playing characters that we've created ourselves. Um, I'm a wizard and Alex is more of kind of a, a brawler. Um, he's this, this one right here, King Coney. Uh, we are kind of thrown into this world, this fantastical world where um, there are uh, people controlling uh, aliens, controlling people's minds, and we're stuck in these this this ruins of a an alien ship that has uh, has crash landed on um, on the planet, um, and we're just kind of trying to find our way through this adventure, um, and we're lucky to have you guys with us. And this game is based on Dungeons and Dragons, right? Justin, why don't you tell me a little bit about what that is? Dungeons and Dragons, you guys might have seen um, within the Netflix show Stranger Things. It's essentially a, a really interactive way to be able to role play um, through a, a certain game or scenario. So um, as you'll see in this game, um, which is based on the fundamentals of Dungeon, Dungeons and Dragons, we'll essentially get to um, different 
moments in the game where we'll need to roll dice. Um, a, a super high dice roll will allow us to do exactly what we want. A lower dice roll means that um, things don't really go as planned. So it's a really fun way to kind of engage um, people and, and, and see uh, what you're allowed to do in any given moment or, or, or instance. Brilliant segue. So speaking <laughs> of engaging folks, um, the way this is going to work is we are going to <clears throat> journey out into the world of Baldur's Gate <clears throat> and we will essentially encounter different people and they will pop up dialogue choices for us. We'll essentially have a conversation with them. On your screen on YouTube, you will see everything we're talking to them about and there will be moments called crowd choice moments where there will be numbers next to each of the dialogue choices. You will then post in the chat one, two, three, or four, whatever is described to the uh, dialogue choice you want to do, and we will have to do that thing. Um, I want to really emphasize that whatever you choose will have an impact on the story. So if you choose for us to fight someone, we will have to fight them. And if you choose for us to be standoffish or aloof, that will impact that other person's uh, opinion of us. Um, I would just say choose whatever you think is most fun, funny, or engaging, and we'll deal with the consequences. Um, but with that, why don't we venture off into the world, Justin? Yes, let me start. Um, I'm just going to pin this quick message. Um, if you guys have any um, questions about how uh, crowd choice works, feel free to uh, throw them in chat, or I just pinned a message to kind of link you guys to uh, to more information. But without further ado, let's get started. First up, I uh, just want to introduce our characters. I am a wizard um, with this beautiful staff right here, and Alex is our, our, our humble ranger. But we're going to get started along the path here. We've just crash landed in this huge alien ship, fought off a few monsters, and we are going to be on our way um, this way to the west to... Uh, to try to look for some survivors. Um, we already found one. Um, it's this character Shadow Heart here that you can see at the bottom left. Um, she has just decided to join our party. Um, and we're going to continue along this this way. Sorry, Beautiful. my character is quite slow. <laughs> no problem at all. And no, Elijah, fighting is not always the best answer. Might be in this game, who knows? I guess we'll find out soon. Yeah. Okay, All right, like here's our first person. First yeah, you person. go engage him. I'll listen to him. Interesting brain things. In the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? So this is our first crowd choice moment. I'm going to hit this this button right here in game. Um, apparently there's a, there's a creature in the grass that we need to kill one of these aliens. Um... Depending on these options, feel free to vote. You can press one, two, or three, um, and then just send that message in chat, and we will see that directly in game. Anything that you guys choose is what we pick. Can I you know, vote to you, Justin? Or you is can. that forbidden? Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Looks like we're getting 100% ones. Oh, one for two, but we're going to go with one. Can you see it? All right. Seems simple enough. Oh. Oh, man. Come on. Good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see this one coming. Darling neck of yours. No. I saw you on the ship. Didn't I? Not. This guy like seems to be pretty, pretty evil. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like the perfect addition to our party. Should we should we attack them, you guys? Another should we head the elf? Feel free to vote. Or now. we could just, you know, take a pacifist route, nod, shake our nod, head. Shake our head. <laughs> Maybe we should have fought him. Should have fought him. <clears throat> All right. Looks like we got hundred percent with Brooks voting in for for uh, three. Now if we try this, we're gonna have to roll as in D&D &D fashion. Oh, we're getting another one for three. All right, let's do it. God, guys. <laughs> See, we have to get a, a roll of 13 or more in order to uh, to get out of this this block. Let's see what we get. Oh, That's ten. a really high roll. <laughs> Brooks, Brooks Elijah, you guys killed us. 
Oh my god, no. You try oh. to hold the memory, but it fades. Oh, plot to twist. Plot twist. Light, the fear. Uh, what was that? What's going on? So we have some some options here to kind of explain exactly what's going on. Um, essentially, these these aliens that had taken us on the ship um, had implanted a worm that will basically try to control our minds. So we can try to explain that, or we can really use uh, use the opportunity to get out of here. It looks like we have some another roll for strength. Oof, <laughs> sixteen dice roll, and we do not. That is incredibly high. That is very hard what? to do. <laughs> what? Well, Let, if let's anything, give a second for people other than Brooks and Elijah. We're just going to have us fight everybody. To exactly. What just happened? I mean, I respect the strategy, but it has not worked out thus far. Let's what see. What just happened to us? What just happened? I think we should go for maybe some simple explanations instead of violence. Um, Anella, like the highest dice roll is a 20. It's a 20-sided die. Um, so it's nice that it's all kind of taken care of in-game. Um, I think... I don't see any votes just yet, but... Happy to just yeah, explain. Yeah, so that pulled a true 20. So when you get a true 20, something bonus happens. It's not just the action works. Also, something incredible happens. And the same happens mm -hmm. if you get a zero, where you don't just miss. Something horrendously pathetic happens, like you trip and fall. Or one, yeah. I'm half tempted to spill your guts all over the dirt anyway, but for now... If you got a zero on a 20-sided die, that would be superbly crazy yeah that'd be impressive right <laughs> <laughs> you're right <laughs> um great well he's not gonna spill our guts all over the dirt so that's fantastic um he seems pretty strong to have been able to grapple us so maybe we want this guy in our party um so sounds like should we tell him that we want more than apologies Do we want money from him um if so we might Press press three in chat. Otherwise, two and one seem to be pretty pretty amicable. Um, and the cool thing yeah. about crowd choice here is that, you know, obviously this is early game. We're probably not going to create mortal mm. enemies. We, you can. Um, Anella is saying yes. We want money. So maybe Anella, feel free to vote for three in chat. Um, but you know, crowd choice can really change how a game can be played. It can make, you know, you could betray someone. Um, so I could, you know, really change the way that the story is told. So, ooh, looks like he's joining our party. Nice. He smashed that like button. Respect. <laughs> yeah, we can just scoot past that one. Yeah. Did you learn anything about these worms while wandering the ship? Uh, uh, we can just scoot past yes, these. Scoot past these. Exactly we want yeah, this to be our party. You know, he's, he's a strong, strong dude. Clearly. Which See? is why we tried to fight him three times. It always works out, right? No. Always. You pick a fight with the biggest kid, and then you're top dog. <laughs> awesome. Alright, so Astarion is now in our party. Perfect. Why don't we go... Over to the Mind Flayer, which I see over yonder. Yeah, let's do it. Yep. So now we're headed back into the ruins of the ship. And we see these people over here trying to dig. Exactly. Thank you, character, for saying that. <laughs> AI. AI. Always the best. And they're trying to save. It's the creature from the ship. Still alive, but wounded. All right. So this is a pretty hideous, what they're called mind flayers. This is the person or the, the creature that was driving the ship. They've implanted us with this mind control mechanism. Um, should we let him die? So you're, you're is... essentially figuring out what to do with them. He's trying to control our minds. 
But is there something less insidious going on? I don't know. Only one way to find out. Feel I'm going to vote, vote for... Let us know what to do. I'm going to smash that three. Mm. I think... I think we should let him die. You know, this this guy... He's, he's one of the baddies. I'm going to vote one. So we're at, like, like we're at 50-50... Awesome. Three persuasion. Three it is. Nice. Thirteen. That's a really Five. high persuasion tech. Boom. Wow. Woo. That's what I'm talking about. Your voice cuts through the fog of confusion. You can see the creature's hold on them wavering. As its influence wanes, they clutch their heads, blinking in confusion. Where? Where are we? There was fire in the sky, and and then the voice. Oh God, the voice! What happened? Fantastic. Um, I'll I'll just continue through these just to just to expedite things. That monster is using you like a puppet. The cool thing here is that in prior playthroughs, if we hadn't hit that dice roll, um, Laura and. Um, Anella, we would have had to fight these guys, possibly even kill them. So, mm -hmm. so it all comes down to the luck of a dice roll, mm -hmm. or the strategy of a dice roll. Exactly. Ooh. Alrighty. Um, I'll just continue through here. Yeah, these are so. There's there are choices you can make that dictate story outcome and they're also just general dialogue choices and those are just general dialogue choices and looks yep. like we leveled up as well which is impressive we did because we haven't done anything <laughs> all right you're the maestro justin where to next let us go um i believe it's through this section over here all right looks like we have some dead bodies on the ground any any loot on them oof and axe, nice. Take some of that and continue on our merry way. Right. So we spoke a little bit earlier about the growth of gaming in general. Um, one really cool stat that I like using That's is um, Avengers Endgame, pretty big movie that came out. Um, one year of Avengers Endgame in box area. office was less than Red Dead Redemption 2 for its first year was out. Red Dead Redemption 2 is a really big game that came out on Stadia and other platforms. So the growth has just been astronomical. Um, and with stuff like this, like crowd choice, you can dictate outcomes of games you play or games you watch. Um, so it really is engaging a brand new community here. Uh, let's see what this guy wants us to do. Glad to see my eyes deceive me. I'm Gail. Well met. Well, this is awesome. going to be a tough. I don't trust him. I don't really. I don't trust, trust him at all. Let's give a. Let's give thirty seconds for people to. Uh, for people to respond. So I'm sure everyone sees that. Little, thing ticking around our choice icon. Once that runs out, the choice will be made for us. So three. Let's fight. All right. All right. Yeah. It's like nobody else trusts this fellow, and that's fair. Yeah. He has a very strong man bun. Teleported out of, outside of a rock. So let's draw our weapon. Easy. Easy does it, lad. You really, really don't want to do that. Not yes, we really, really do. Just an observation. Besides, we just survived a stint through hell on a nautiloid. Statistically speaking, yes, a nautiloid. So we're just saying whatever now. <laughs> Don't know what any of these and words And now mean. we'll let you guys figure it out. Do we attack the man bun man? Do we try to talk it out? Do we still sheath our weapon? I mean, we'll really, give you, you about guys... 10, 15 seconds to since there's a bit of a delay when you're live streaming. But man, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we should do here. I really mm. want to attack him. I really don't want to be a pacifist here. Got to go big and then go home. He ran right. his mouth attack. I mean, Elijah's making a lot of cogent points over there. So yeah. I, th I think the twos have it. The twos have it. Alrighty. 
We'll get to that. I have a much more pressing question first. Are you perchance a wizard? To be more precise, an arch wizard. Ooh, brag much? Okay. I'll just do this one. I'll tell him that I'm a, yeah, I'm a wizard it. myself. <laughs> Thanks for asking. I am a wizard. <laughs> need is a healer. I take it you recall the insertion of the parasite? <sighs> no. Yeah, we did scoot past. After a period of excruciating gestation, they will turn us into my a process known as seromorphosis. It is to be so long story short, I that worm that's in everyone's head, or at least our characters' heads, uh, will turn them into that squid-looking thing we saw earlier. Hmm. Mm. And we'll have to find one. And fast. How about we embark on the quest for a healer together? Ooh. Oh. Should we crowd choice it? I don't know. Maybe we should just continue. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Let, no. Let's let's crowd choice. I want to see if we <laughs> actually want this guy on our team. So the choices here are essentially: Do you want this fellow to join us, or do you want to tell him to kick rocks and get out of here? He's kind of condescending, Elijah. You're right. He did he did run his mouth a little bit. Um, he is a wizard. The like choice is like yours myself. here. Choice is yours. The crowd choice is yours. Hey. Yeah. Now, Brianna, one note here is that unfortunately you do need to just press the number and then do a comment below it. <laughs> otherwise, otherwise it won't count it. Um, but it sounds like everyone is going for it, yes. Uh, for two, most people are going for one. This is, this is a disaster. <laughs> yes. One, but let's fight someone soon. There will be a fight very there soon, don't you worry. Flattered, I'm sure. But it seems Spoilers. you're traveling with a substantial amount of companions already. Maybe later. Yes? Do we select two? <laughs> no, I selected one. Oh, no. okay. So um, of our party is already at a size of four, so we cannot um, get any bigger than this. Oh, um, just a heads up. It switched my character. Oh, gotcha. Um, uh, actually, I think I'm fine. Let's go back the way we came um, because I want yep. to do the encounter with the final character that we had seen before in the trap. On my way. Yeah, this is a, uh, a game that's available now on Stadia. Um, it's out now on, on PC and, uh, and Stadia in early access. Um, and yeah. so they're constantly adding more, more content to it. Um, you will see a lot of... Uh, a lot of exciting um, things unfold, and oh wait, maybe I'm taking you guys the wrong way. <laughs> Let's see. Going back. Going back. Yeah, so developers release stuff in early access when they want to essentially get user feedback to help make the game best for gamers. Um, a lot like every product we create at Google. Um, it's great to have engineering input, but what really matters is how users will interact with the game and the product and whatnot. So it is rough around the edges, but it is very much a near finish. I hear game. shouting up ahead. I'm just... Here it is. Right. Zoru was right. Yellow is a toad, twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot... So here we see another character trapped in this cage. We had seen her before in the quest. Um, she had helped us on the alien ship. She wants us to get rid of these uh, these people who had prisoned her. Uh, rightly so, you know they don't they don't know. She just dropped from an alien ship, um, and I will leave the decision up to you guys. Do we shoot, shoot the trap down? Shoot it down. You gotta shoot it down. <laughs> go big or go home. Shoot it down, and then we need to fight some people. Totally. But also, there we go. L Laura gets it. 
this person did help us who was in the trap. So we're not sure we want to kill them, myself. Maybe we would attack the tieflings, Ooh, people that trapped this creature. The tieflings too. Yeah. So many spicy Ready. options here. Give me a few more seconds, but it looks like we're at 60-40 going for shooting the trap down. And just condemning our friend who helped us before. <laughs> and that's what we'll go for, it looks <laughs> like. <laughs> Brutal. All right, looks like we only need to throw, roll a three or higher, according to the D&D &D rules. <laughs> and we didn't! Oh my god, we did Wow. <laughs> So that is like a legendary failure. Like it, it's impressive how bad that roll is. know what to do with it. Alrighty. Attack the thief wings. We should we should attack them. Let's watch out. Yeah, let's do some stuff. Time to fight. Alrighty. So it looks like I'm first. I'm gonna move on up. Now you'll see here it it goes on a turn-by-turn -turn basis, so I'm going to start first. I'm a wizard, so um, I am doing my fire spell. I'm going to attack this lady. I have a 75% chance to hit. And I missed in my turn. Uh, next we have uh, Asterion that we just picked up before. He's going to use his bow and so arrow. I don't know how... But I only have two health, so I'm going to have to sit out a turn. Oh, no. I think it's because I made us walk through fire before. Yeah, that's uh, true. Dang. Okay. I took the potion of healing, and then I'm going to get up near y'all. Okay. These guys are pretty right. strong. End turn. Well, I might be dead. Nope. Cool. Color spray. I don't know what that did, but all right. Color spray. Use a ray of frost. To see if that works. One, One damage. damage. <laughs> not not too great, to be honest. Hit the gym. Um. Yeah. Seriously. Um. Attack with this one. That's a miss. Wolf. Big wolf. Oh boy, we are terrible. <laughs> We really are. Don't worry, I got this. Woo! Nope. Dead. I'm the best. All right, I'm gonna get up here. The uh, reign of tyranny has ended. Yeah. All right, our viewers may be Did seeing a short delay because I we left basically one of our um, our friends, Shadowheart at the start of the match, um, where we started the stream. Uh, nice. Hit him. Seven damage. Yep. Miss? Come on, man. Huh. Should I help Justin up? I don't think so. I think I'm just going to go for the kill. Proud choice that moment. Damn. How did I miss from one step away? Oh no. Why? <laughs> I think we might die. Justin's the only one well in this game. Uh, let's see. Oh man. All right. Now it's just all up to you, Alex. See if you can end. We have a minute left. Can you kill him? <laughs> I like how he's going to Another miss. No, how did I miss? I'm standing next to him. This is it, team. All right. Looks like I'm close to death. Oh, God. Uh, now it's Asterion's turn. Another range attack on this I guy. Man. Wow. Oh, just dream. Enough, Be sure to smash that, that like button. That was perfect, and we're right at time. <laughs> Be sure to smash that like button. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. This was Crowd, Cha Crowd Choice on Stadia. Justin Randy, Alex Morricone coming at you live from wherever we're located. And we will talk to you all soon. Thank you for your time. Closing the stream. Sweet. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for, for, for participating. See you all later. Bye. All righty. Close down the stream.